Hey guys, it's Roy here from MarvelCo12.epicDroid.com, and I am here today with my review of the brand new OnePlus Nord. The Nord is OnePlus's new mid-range slash budget device that was recently released overseas. When it was announced, I was pretty excited. I was excited for the device to come out. I was also very quickly disappointed because it looked like OnePlus wasn't going to be bringing the device to North America. Fortunately, I was able to get my hands on the device, and I'm glad that I did. I would have really missed out if I hadn't. The OnePlus Nord starts out at around $500 US dollars and comes in two different colors, blue marble and gray onyx. It comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 76 5G processor and either 8 gigs or 12 gigs of LPDDR4X RAM. The 8 gig version comes with 128 gigs of UFS 2.1 storage and the 12 gig comes with 256. Powering the device is a 4,115 milliamp per hour non-removable battery. Then last but not least comes one of my favorite features, a 6.44 inch display with a 2400 by 1080 resolution, a 20 by 9 aspect ratio, and a 90 hertz refresh rate. As far as specs go, the Nord is definitely not the most powerful device on the market, but it is still no slouch. It's just one of the many things I like about the phone. When I was using the phone, I kept finding more and more things that I wanted to be sure to include in my review. I know you guys don't want to listen to me talk all day, so I cut my list down a ton and have limited it to the five things I like most about the phone. In the interest of fairness, I've tried really, really hard to look for things I didn't like about the Nord. I managed to find two whole things. I'm going to give you guys a quick spoiler alert. Neither of those things are big deals, and I 100% recommend the OnePlus Nord and think that you should check it out. The very first thing on my list, and probably the most noticeable thing on the list, is the display. Despite this being a budget slash mid-range device, OnePlus did not skimp on the screen. The display is sharp and vivid, and it produces colors in a nice and natural tone. I know some people prefer the oversaturated look, but that isn't for me. I much, much prefer the natural look. When using the device, the screen is responsive and fluid, and it provides an overall smooth experience. A big part of that is due to the optimizations that OnePlus has included within Oxygen OS, but a bigger part of it is because of the default 90Hz refresh rate. As a side note, another thing I love about the display is that it is flat. I know a lot of people like the curved edge display on a lot of the more expensive phones, but I am not personally a huge fan of it. They cost more to make, they cost more to repair, and they add no real functionality to the device. If anything, they make the device more difficult to use because you have to hold it in a way that you're not accidentally touching the edge of the screen. It was refreshing to have a device that just worked without needing to throw a useless feature on it just to make it look better. The next thing on my list is the battery and warp charging. I know that's technically two things, but together they help keep the device going longer than a lot of other devices. The 4,115 milliamp per hour battery delivers just enough power to get you through about a full day of regular usage with no problems. It does suffer a bit when gaming or doing other processor intensive activities, but the good news is the Nord comes with OnePlus's Warp Charge 30T and charges insanely fast. With Warp Charge, the phone should charge from 0-70% to in 30 minutes with no problem. I personally had no issues charging my device to 100% in just under an hour every single time. So number 3 on my list is actually one of my favorite things about OnePlus devices in general. I love that OnePlus gives me the ability to customize my device and to make it my own. OnePlus has always had close ties to the development community. They are big supporters of custom ROM and kernel developers, themers, and more. They make it super easy to unlock your bootloader, they don't block you from rooting your phone, and you can customize your device to your heart's content. And if all of that's a little bit too much for you, OnePlus has done an amazing job of building in their own customization options within Oxygen OS. There are several built-in and customizable themes. There are extra gestures, custom navigation bars, and so much more. The fourth thing on my list would have to be the price. As I mentioned earlier, the device sells for just under 500 US dollars. At that price point, the Nord is a little outside of what I would normally call a budget range. But when compared to other devices, you are getting a lot of bang for your buck. It will outperform every budget device, most mid-range devices, and even many flagship devices. The Nord packs a massive punch with great specs, tons of storage, a beautiful body, a smooth operating system, insanely fast charging, 5G support, a 90Hz display, and so many other things. With everything crammed into the Nord, it is literally worth every penny. The fifth thing on my list would have to be the camera. The OnePlus Nord ships with four different cameras on the back. It has a 48 megapixel camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, and then a 5 megapixel lens that acts as a depth sensor. That 48 megapixel camera is the same one that ships with the OnePlus 8 Pro, 
and it is capable of some amazing pictures. It does seem to take a little bit longer sometimes to process, but overall it has been a solid experience and it takes beautiful shots. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there were two things I didn't like about the device. I feel like both of them are very superficial and both can be resolved very easily. In fact, they are so small, I hate bringing them up. The first thing is the power button. The power button itself isn't a problem, but with the OnePlus 8 and the 8 Pro, OnePlus decided to try something new. They changed the default behavior of the power button. Normally when you hold down a power button, it will pop up the power menu, and then you can shut down or restart your device. Instead of doing that, the power button on the OnePlus Nord brings up the Google Assistant. It's easily changed back to the usual behavior, but it's a bit annoying and confusing if you don't know about it beforehand. The second thing is the pre-applied screen protector. I've had many devices shipped with pre-applied screen protectors in the past, and I've never had a problem with any of them. I don't know why, but this time the screen protector just felt it felt cheap and had an almost sticky feeling. The good news is, is that you can peel it off and put on your own. So before we wrap up this review, OnePlus did have one very specific request when they sent me the device. They wanted to know how it handled connectivity in my area. Since the Nord was designed to be used overseas, it doesn't support all of the same mobile bands that we use here in the US. As such, I expected to have very limited data access outside of Wi-Fi. I was very pleasantly surprised to find that with T-Mobile, I had almost no issues. I got 5G, 4G, and 3G all at my home and around town. I was able to make calls and send text everywhere I went. I only had an issue one time where I couldn't get 5G or 4G and I had to resort to 3G speeds. Other than that, I have been very, very impressed with the connection and would have no problems using it as my primary phone. Please keep in mind that your experience may be different on other carriers and in your area. Before ordering the Nord, you should check your carrier's band support as well as their coverage area. In closing, I know that I said I was just going to give you my top five things, but I am going to sneak one more in here at the very end. One of my favorite things about the Nord is that OnePlus is finally getting back to its roots. In the beginning, all of OnePlus's phones were flagship killers. They were affordable devices that could perform as well as any flagship device. Fast forward to today and OnePlus has joined the ranks and is making their own flagship devices. Although their devices are still cheaper than the competition, the prices have been going steadily up and up. With the Nord, they are finally getting back to those flagship killer roots. I hope that this is a sign of things to come and that OnePlus has more flagship killers coming soon. So in summary, yes, I would 100% absolutely recommend the OnePlus Nord. It is an awesome device that will do everything you need it to do and more. It's not as cheap as some budget devices, but with the Nord, you are getting way, way more than what you are paying for. I love the OnePlus Nord, and I am grateful to OnePlus for giving me the chance to try it out. So if you guys have any questions about the OnePlus Nord or about OnePlus, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section down below, and we will reply as soon as we are available. If you guys would like to order a OnePlus Nord for yourself, please feel free to use the links in the video description down below, and that will take you right to a spot where you can order them. If you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more like it, please remember to give us a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. And as always, I just want to take a quick second to tell you all thank you for watching, thank you for all your support, and you all have an awesome day.